Hey, what up guys? Okay, so today I just wanted to show you these little guys right here. They are uh, Actia Selene uh, caterpillars. They're currently in their third instar. <coughs> I bought around uh, 15 eggs of them. However, only four hatched and only two out of the four made it. One couldn't successfully shed to the second instar, and one couldn't successfully sh shed to the third. So I have two third instars here. One is this nice, uh, dark green. It is a little bit smaller, so I think it's a male. This one is a nice paler green and a little bit larger, so I think it's a female. Right now it's autumn, and I'm trying my best to, uh, get by feeding them, uh, liquid amber. It's worked so well, so far. I'm just hoping that I can get these guys to cocoon. I don't really think I have much of a chance of getting a pairing out of the adults, but what I do have is um, I can film some nice adults for you next year after I overwinter the cocoons. I'm actually putting together a uh, fake off-brand, if would you call it, Moth Cycles knockoff of Bart Copens, of these guys, as, um, a video, and that's gonna take a little bit, including since I have to overwinter the cocoons, but, uh, I just wanted to make this video, and a video showing the, uh, cocooning process, and the fully grown caterpillars. Right now is some uh, video fodder. You can see a little bit of munching. Right there. He's also currently dropping a turd. You can see the backside. These guys were not our uh, first species to try for uh, the road to get all of the Actia species and Argema and uh, Graelsia logged in full life cycle. We tried uh, Rhodonuma, which for some reason died around the second instar, which sucks. We also currently have some Actius parasinensis eggs. My fear for those is that uh, they were slowed down by the cold weather and they won't uh, hatch. Hopefully they will. He just dropped that turd. This guy's currently climbing back up. I'm just hoping that they can uh, get their full life cycle done. And I can get the Zactius parasinensis also. Some incoming species are uh, Rhodonuma, Argema, I mean, no, Rhodonuma, Isis, Dubernardi, Graelsia, um, we have Mimose and Metriar on the way as well. When those arrive, I'll, uh, make a video showing the cocoons off and then I'll overwinter the uh, other ones and then try to hatch the uh, Metriides and Mimosa for you guys but yeah I think that's all for now see you later on the next video guys